Lash Mortals, Kat here. Today I have a haul video of the items that I purchased from the previous video when we walked around to all of the Halloween and home decor stores to find some witchy and aesthetically pleasing items for my house that weren't just Halloween. I want witchy all year round. So I got a few things, not as much as I said I was going to get in that video, but I did get quite a few things, some things I didn't even show you in the video, but let's get started with it. So this first thing is from At Home, which was the first store we went to, and this wasn't even in the Halloween section, this was in the like uh, wall art section, this was hanging up in like um like an end cap kind of, and it was only six bucks, so I had to get it because it's really cool. It has all of the moon phases on it and I thought that that would be really cool to hang on my wall so I already have a spot for it right over there and it's been hanging. If you saw my recent Instagram story I took a better picture of that wall so you could see it. The one thing I did get from the Halloween section at, at home was this beetle. I thought it was totally awesome so I had to get it and it's like a ceramic porcelain beetle with metal legs. I just thought it would look really cool and kind of like it's kind of like that modern witchy, I don't know, I'm like a plant bug lady, but also like kind of like more modern looking and I feel like this is that feel for it. I really like it. I think it's so cool. I feel like most people would not like this, but I saw this and I was like, this would look really cool next to terrarium and all my plants and stuff. The next two items are these hanging bowls or hanging planters that are brass and they're really really cool they were on clearance because they were scuffed up but i don't care if they're scuffed up because i like that look so they're usually 12.99 and we got them for half off totally totally worth it i'm so glad we found these these um they had ones that weren't on clearance that were like not scuffed up that were in the regular planter section these were kind of like in the indoor fake plant section on clearance so I'm so glad we got these. These are going to look amazing. I've already got some ideas of what I want to hang in it. We've been going crazy with plants. I've been sharing it in my Instagram stories, but yeah, we're getting lots of plants. Lots of plants. So from Michael's, I said that I was going to get a lot of things. There were a lot of things that I want and still a lot more things that I am planning on getting. I ended up using a 60% off Joanne's coupon because they use competitor coupons. So remember that when you're going to buy your $60 Halloween Christmas tree that everybody's talking about because it's 60 bucks and you can get it for 60% off if you use a Joanne's 60% off coupon, which we get quite frequently. So I might go back in and use it. But I did use my 60% off coupon on this pillow that was $30. I really like palmistry like things, but there's so often that I don't get palmistry related items because I don't like the way the hand looks. There was a plaque that was there that I just, I was, didn't like how chunky the hand looked. I actually absolutely love this pillow. I like how it's like kind of like simple and clean looking, but still has that kind of like witchy vibe to it. That's what I'm into. So I got this, um, $30, but 60% off coupon, totally worth it. It was the only thing I got from the Halloween section, but if you checked out last the last video you'll see all the stuff I wanted and I'm probably going to go back to get that fortune teller sign and the, the light up one and the Christmas tree because I keep thinking about the Christmas tree and I really really want it but I absolutely love this pillow it's the best and there's a cute cat pillow too that reminds me of being that I kind of want to get but I love this one so much so we also headed into Joann's but they didn't have any of their Halloween stuff out yet they did have some like October fall related things but we ended up getting something from their spring collection which actually is going to be quite witchy and it's this orb so it was actually like 70 or 80 percent off i got it for eight bucks and it was originally 40 dollars. so i think it's worth it there was quite a few of them there they had all different sizes but i wanted the biggest one so i got this one and i'm thinking i'm gonna do a madame leota themed planter i want to figure out some like moss that's in like her colors and put some things in there and make a cool little like Madame Leota terrarium for the house. I might make a video about that if you're interested in seeing it. Put this back, oh my god, it's so delicate, it's terrifying to touch. Okay, <sighs> um, and then what else I got from Joann's isn't really Halloween or witchy related, but they're meat related. I guess they're a little, a little witchy if you're a plant and craft witch like I am. Um, but I saw these as I was heading out, and I'm addicted. Ever since we moved to California, you have to use shopping bags, like reusable ones. They don't give you the plastic bags, which kind of kills me because I hoarded those as a 
first gen Im child of immigrants, we hoarded those and we use them for everything. But um, I'm really liking this whole reusable bag thing and I have way too many right now. But I saw these two cute ones and I needed them. This one says so many things to do and it's like all vintage. I got it because I was in love with the straps that are measuring tape, but also the fact that it's, I love those like a uh, vintage, there's like a uh, mitts and like, what are those hot pads and all different things that say like they look like vintage housewives like this but they're usually cursing or saying something really like inappropriate i love those and this kind of reminded me of it but also i like the shape of it most of mine are like kind of tall this one's like more short and long and that is really useful when you don't like to pile your groceries too too like high but more like wide <laughs> and then the other one is plant lady is the new cat lady i am both a cat lady and a plant lady actually i feel like dean's more of the plant man and i'm the cat lady but he's collecting plants i'm collecting cats we're on five currently that i feed two of our own that live in the house one that half lives in the house and out of the house and two strays that come by one is pregnant i'm worried we're going to have kittens soon but yes plant man and cat lady <laughs> Um, so that's all I got, I think, yes, that is all I got, but I'm planning to go back out, I want to go check out Tuesday morning, and I heard that Cracker Barrel has some pretty good Halloween stuff this year, so I'm going to go into their gift shop, I'm going to like run in and scare the elderly, actually I, I used to love eating Cracker Barrel with my grandma, but anyways, I still need to check out Home Goods and TJ Maxx Marshalls, you know, they're all the same thing, I think Ross usually has some okay stuff every Halloween, they're not the best, but if there's any stores that are in the Orange County area that you want me to check out, let me know, and I will do that for you, and I will bring you with me, so don't forget to check back often, and you know, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all those things, and I will see you soon. Stay spooky. Bye.